Hey there, uh, Adrice Mitchell, Tequila Fortaleza. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, we are seeing you on the patio where we see all of our agaves. Right through the door here is where we are going to show you the like, at the gap. So, Tequila Fortaleza is a small, independent, family-owned distillery. Uh, the man who owns it is a man by the name of Guillermo Erickson Salva. He's the fifth generation of his family. He still makes tequila traditionally the way it was made. 150 years ago. So Jeez. no additives, no coloring, no flavoring, just ripe agave, yeast, and water. Mm -hmm. uh, walking into this, this distillery is like walking back in time. The main difference between the way Guillermo makes tequila today and the way his great great grandfather made tequila 150 years ago is that the stone milling wheel that we use to crush the cooked agave. Uh, we no longer use a donkey or a horse, we have a little electric tractor. Yeah. And uh, the agaves, uh, we chop them up before they go into the uh, the pit for milling. Mm -hmm. But we're still using a uh, brick oven, we pump steam in, slowly cook it for a day and a half, open up the door, open up the vent, let it cool for about eight hours. Uh, that's doing a thermodyna thermodynamic conversion where we're converting starches into sugars. Uh, so all this agave right here, mature, you can see the redness of pinto. The analogy I've used is uh, like with the uh, banana, like if the banana's got little uh, brown spots on it, you know that it's going to be sweeter, it's more ripe. Um, you know, yes, technically you can eat a green banana, but... Um, it won't be as enjoyable. No. <laughs> the character doesn't have to yeah. the death. So, uh, through here, uh, we have a brick oven, stand milling wheel. Fortaleza is, as far as I know, the only distillery that is 100% stone crushed. Uh, we don't use any roller mills, we don't use uh, any modern technology. So if the whole town loses electricity, we can still operate. So the Gabriel Pension is a door we just bought here. This is our original 15 ton uh, brick oven. Uh, walls are about a meter thick. We were just loading it this morning. Uh, it will now cook until, what is today? Today is done. Monday? So we'll be opening up this door on Wednesday. And what's the pressure at right now? Uh, so it's pumping at 90 degrees uh, centigrade with about 190 Fahrenheit. Uh -huh. um, I don't know what the actual pressure pressure is. Oh, okay. I've seen it going in. And uh, so going in, looking like the uh, woody white fiber stuff that you saw outside. And then after two days, we will have converted the starches to sugars. And this is nice and sweet. It's cooked. You've, uh, you're ready to uh, crush this into what will eventually become tequila pork right time. So, pouring the oven, comes out, we chop it into smaller pieces, bring it back. Right now what the guys are doing is they are rinsing the bagasse, they're rinsing the fibers. So, just don't really know we can walk around the other side to see it. Well, I always get the numbers wrong. Some people say it's three and a half tons, other people have told me it's two tons. I don't think anybody's actually picked it up today. Um, but so for three and a half hours, the guys will drive the stone milling wheel around and slowly move the fibers in front of the wheel to crush the liquid out of it. Uh, we'll do this two times. Um, and in between the times of crushing, we're gonna put the bagasse, the fibers, up onto these wooden pallets. So after the fibers have been crushed, the liquid is gonna bring down into the shelf again. And then we're going to pump it up with the wooden fermentation pads. So these pads, the majority of the distilleries nowadays are using more modern industrial methods. It's more efficient. We are horribly inefficient. Sticking, it's, it's sticking to the roots. Yeah, it's beautiful here. So what we're just going to take a break out of it. Most distilleries nowadays are using an autoclave pressure taker, a diffuser, where we still use a stone milling wheel. The most modern distillery. Use uh, metal on metal, three, four, five more, little metal, squeeze more and more juice out, or metal spring up. Um, we still use wooden fermentation pads. And they're, most modern distilleries are going to use concrete or stainless steel. Um, easier to maintain. Easy to be uh, real to maintain. And we've been replaced every eight to two years. Uh, we're open that fermentation. So because this building itself is 100 and something years old. We have natural really? uh, bacteria and yeast that live and use the, uh, in the rafters and the beams. But because it's open to, <laughs> because it's open to the outside, um, on the property there's tons of flowering plants. So you're going to have yeast that come in and eat through the, uh, eat through the sugar in the uh, fermentation. And after about four days, 
meat, you can use the other sugar, and then the last great thing called Mosca Muerto, and that's just uh, beef dead milk. It's basically a beer. You're taking, uh, you're taking the Aguiel, the meat, the eating through the sugar, basically starting out alcohol, if you will, and you have a sour beer. Yes, we can drink it, we don't. I mean, we drink a little bit. But, um, <laughs> but then what we want to do is we want to distill it. For both fermentation, um, and I'll find the latter shape because I'm going to take a look at the green. But to be called tequila, you have to distill a minimum of two times. At Puerto Rico, we distill two times. The more you distill something, the more carefree you're going to take away from this beautiful, beautiful natural product. So the first pass of distillation is called uh, Livinario. So in our situation, it will come off the seal at about 19% ABV. Uh, we'll go back in. So our two first pass stills are about 700 liters. All four days ever comes off this little like 500 liter top of pass stills. So most distilleries again nowadays, modern technology, you might use column stills, you might use you know the coffee stills that have the copper plates, they might use giant um, stainless steel stills just to count the coil. So these are 100% copper which adds to the uh, to the final distillation. So tenemos a Ordinario or Tequila. It's Ordinario Tequila. Tequila. Uh, 46. Okay. So every drop of tequila for laser comes off the still at 46% ABV. Um, and then it'll either go in a barrel to become our Reposado or an Yeo, or we'll do what's in a proofing gap where we add demineralized water to get it from 46% to 40%. We also have my personal favorite it's called Dill Drank Blanco. It'll come right off that still. Straight off. And then we filter it into the bottle. But here you get to uh, drink it right off the still. So would you like to take a little sip? For me? Yeah. <laughs> So what you have in your hands right here is right off this little 500 liter copper pot still. Uh, this is at 46% ABV. It is the purest form of the expression. That so is more flavor. <laughs> bueno, bueno. Oh. <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> Got this. Got it.